Hey guys, what's up? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. This is a website, go check it out. Um, by the time you're watching this, I probably will have the SQL course up on the website, so you can just click probably in view all courses and then take it from here. And the benefit of taking it from here would be that it'll be all integrated like you're on Netflix or something, right? It'll remember where you left off and everything. But not to worry, if you're taking it on YouTube, you will be just fine. Also, it feels a little bit weird because we haven't been doing coding tutorials or coding videos in a while, so this is gonna be something fun. Now, before we jump right into it, I wanna go over a little bit of what SQL is about because I assume most of you who are watching this video know about it, but if you don't, don't worry, I'll kind of explain it to you. So SQL is basically like Excel on steroids. Well, what if you don't use Excel? What, it's, what does it mean? It lets you do really amazing things such as, let's say you were working on an invoicing app, which is something that I worked with in a, a while ago, which is not so awesome, but it let me query the results. So I would type in somebody's name and then it would like make the table look beautiful and then it would pop up everybody in the right order how I had stored it in SQL. That's not so cool, but what is something that's much cooler? How about when you are on Google and you type in something and then your search results are sorted in the right way? That's SQL. What if you were making a game, Call of Duty, the leaderboard? Yeah, buddy, that's SQL. What if you were making and doing some financial data analysis? A lot of the stuff that's going on in the back end is being done, queried by SQL. Um, how many bullets do you have left in your gun? How does the game calculate that? So lots of the things in the back end are being done by SQL, and you might actually not even see that with your own eyes. So it's probably the most powerful, most important thing that I ever, ever learned after learning Python. And this is the secret, this is the thing that you need before you can actually start making really useful web apps. So, um, I mean, the next step would be like intro to relational databases, but you can't work with databases unless you know a little bit about how SQL works. Um, and then everything else is just like, okay, SQL, SQLite, MySQL, Postgres, Oracle, Microsoft, like that all falls under the same spectrum. And everybody makes SQL and this thing seems so complicated. Guys, it's really not, it's so simple. And once you learn it, you can create really powerful things that are gonna be helpful to you. For all you practical folks, Knowing SQL allowed me to build something for just one of my clients. I was able to charge over ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 for the app that I made with Python using SQL combined, okay? And that's not even talking about other places that I got to use it in my own life, making a fun app for my friends, for example. So it's pretty cool. Hopefully you might find some benefits that are useful. If I've overlooked some, go ahead and put them down so other people who are viewing this video can see those too. Um, and let's jump into it. This resource that I'm using is called sqlbolt.com. Why am I using it? Because it's one of the most interactive ways to use SQL. Most people will show you some really uh, weird way to go on, like have your own server and like you need to spend money and get a subscription with Bluehost or whatever. That's not what we're doing. We're just using interactive one, okay? Cool, so you can read about this also on your own, but I'm not gonna bore, bore you and read through a lot of this. We're gonna just start writing some interactive queries and you guys will kind of understand it as we go along. Okay, cool. So in SQL, everything starts, again, you can combine SQL with Python. So later, one of my courses is gonna cover how to build apps with Python. So what you've learned from my OOP course, I'm gonna combine it with Python, okay? So the object-oriented part of the programming, we're gonna take it online, and then to do a lot of heavy lifting on backend, we're gonna be using SQL. So I want you to know that you're not just learning it for random no reason. It's gonna be very helpful in building massively cool, important projects.
okay, that are either fun for you, video games or whatever, and also practical, like bringing you in money, okay? Working as a freelancer, working as an independent software consultant, or going and applying at a job and being hired as a data analyst or whatnot, okay? Because Excel, yeah, they might pay you to be an expert on that, but come on, SQL is the big boy league, right? Or the big girl league. Cool. Okay, so uh, the first thing is always like select, okay? That's like almost always the first thing you do because we're selecting something. Star means everything. So this is saying select everything, okay? That's what this part is saying. And what this part is saying is saying from movies. So this is the table. The table is movies, right? You see the name of the table is called movies. So we're saying select everything from movies and hence you see everything. You see the column ID with everything in there, title with everything in there, director with everything in there, so on and so forth. Okay, so now let's change this okay, uh, to what they're asking us to do. So they're saying exercise one is about tasks. Find the title of each film. Okay, how would I do that? Right now I'm doing select everything from movies. If you do a column name, if you select a column name, then it'll only show you that column. So instead of select star, what should we say? Title. If you're watching this, go to sqlbolt.com right now and follow along. Don't be a lazy learner. Don't just watch me. Please do it. Everything will seem really easy when I do it. When you do it, it'll be more difficult. Also, you will remember it. And so then you can actually use it for things. And again, SQL is just one of those things that in the start, you don't know how to exactly use it with the things that you, with the things that you have. So right now I'm gonna have you use an interactive online world, but then I'm gonna help you combine it with some real application that you're building on your computer or on a web app, okay? So don't worry about that. Don't have lots of these doubts, cut them out, and then come in here and focus because I'm gonna lead you to the amazing parts of it, okay? I'm not just gonna, show you an interactive and then leave you hanging and we won't be able to actually use it in anything. All right, so we got this down, that's beautiful. How do I do director of each film? I think you guys know the answer to that. Wanna give it a try? Okay, director. All right, and you can see that it only showing it's only showing me that column. Perfect, find the title and director. So if I go up here in the notes, you'll see, it'll, it'll show you how to actually do it. Select column, comma, another column. So we're gonna come here, director, comma, what? Say it with me, what is it? Beautiful. So now we only have two columns, director and title, because we don't need any of that other stuff. So that's it. All right, find the title and year. You think you can do that? I think you can do that here. Simple. We're done with task four. Um, how do I, let me quickly quiz you. I wanna see what level you're at, okay? So answer this out loud or try to type it in your, on your sequelbolt.com, okay? How do you show me everything? If I wanna see everything, ID column, year column, title column, director column, everything, how do I do it? If you said star, beautiful, my friend. Oh, I was trying to go backwards and quiz you, but that ended up being the fifth task. So in my country, they call it a double whammy. All right, so I gave you a little bit of overview of how it's gonna be massively useful in your real life. Hopefully I've clarified some objections you might have lingering in the back of your head. I knew I did when I was taking some of these guys' courses like Eli the Computer Guy or the New Boston or whatnot, and I was like, yeah, they're teaching me, but are they gonna help me actually build something with it or are they just literally teaching me um, and then I'm kind of left to my own devices. So hopefully I've clarified those objections in your brain so you can focus and learn. And um, that's my most important goal, that you understand what SQL will be useful to you for, okay? If there's any confusion, comment below. I'm gonna jump in there and answer to you, okay? I'll also try to hold some live sessions where we do this together. 
uh, and I'll clarify any big picture question you have or any technical question you have. And then we kind of went through the basic, basic part of it, okay? So in the next video, we're gonna continue, go on to the next part, okay? That's it for this video, guys. Give them a little like, give them a little tweet, send them, who's, tell them who sent you or whatever. Um, and it, that's just cool. Okay, guys, I love you guys so much. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.